Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to set the permission for a specific file using Java. For example, let's say I want to set the permission like read permission, write permission or executable permission for different users. How to do that? So it's very simple. After JDK 1.6, Java provides certain libraries in the file class and there are some methods are available. You can use that and it's very, very straightforward. So let's see how to do that. So let's see, this is my... Uh, uh, one class that I have created, for example, let's say resume.java that I have created. This. I'm going to create the object of file class where I'm just want to give the permission for, let's say, for example, app.java or any file over here. For example, let's see, uh, let's see resume.java only. I'm going to write it. Okay. If you're using Windows laptop, it will be in your C drive, D drive, any file that you can write it. And then you just need to use these methods file.set. You just write and then you will get number of methods are available set executable which is overloaded method and then readable method is available and the writable method is available so let's do that so set executable method what exactly it will do it will execute uh, set the permission true or false on the basis of this uh, boolean parameter that you are passing so for example as if i'm saying set executable true here and then i'm printing system dot out print and let's say some printing are uh, done okay so before running this program i'll do one thing i'll show you the permission for this file on my terminal so i'll go to my terminal and then i'll write ls hyphen alt and here you can see that for resume.java <coughs> the permission is like that so if you understand linux or unix commands uh, this hyphen means it's a file not a directory d means it's a directory okay and uh, rw then one dash is available available and then r dash dash and r dash dash what do you mean by this so a basic quick overview that i'll give it to you if you see this, uh, this is exactly the same thing over here. It means this is this dash means what is a file type uh, hyphen indicates it's a regular file and D means a directory. And the first three letters like R W X, this is the first set is actually made for read, write and executable. So this is read, this is write and X means executable permission for a file owner who actually created that particular file. And then the second set RWX, which is available again, read, write and executable permission for the group owner of the file. And the third one is a read, write and executable permission for all other users in your system. Right. So, for example, let's see if you go to this particular uh, permission here. So this is a, a file because of this dash. And then the this dash is having, if I see the first set over here, read, write and executable permission for the owner. So for owner, we have only read and write permission. We don't have any executable permission here. Right. Same thing you can see in this diagram also. You can see that the first set is always for the owner, second set for group and third set for other. So in, in our case, it's written like this RW dash. RW dash means we are for this particular owner. We have only read and write permission dash means a denied permission. This Okay. It's not available for the executable permission. So let's see how to set the executable now. So set executable and pass true over here and then Let's run it and let's see if it is working or not. So I'll run as Java application and you can see it's printing done. And then I'll check the permission once again. So I'll print this command. You can check the same command. I mean, same thing in your Windows laptop. Also right click on it, go to properties of that file and check the permission there. Awesome. So here you can see that for resume.java. Uh, here you can see for the owner. Now we have read, write and executable permission is there. Right guys. So this is the way you can simply do that. Now uh, let's see some other permission. So for example, let's see this file is already having the read, write and the write permission. Let's say I'm going to set some uh, readable property, which is false. It means uh, this uh, file cannot be readable. Okay. So I'm going to run it and making it false. And then you simple run it. It's saying done and then check the permission now. So here you can see the permission that the read permission is gone now. See earlier the R was there. Now this owner is not having read permission, having only write and executable permission. Okay, so that's why uh, it's giving you like that. And then I'm going to set, let's see, uh, file dot, I'll set writable permission. That is again, let's see true, which is already true actually. And uh, let's make it true once again. So did you get the problem? So in that case, uh, readable permission falls actually previously. So what is problem is there? It's uh, I cannot read this file now. Okay, let's see, I'm just closing it and then I'll open it again, resume.java. 
so here it's saying you don't have any permission to open so that's a problem so editor is giving the error while executing it so see i cannot even open this file now because the permission is not there so i'll do one thing i'll change the permission so from command i'll do one thing i'll give the all permission from here so i'll write ch mode let's see 777 and uh, what is the file name the file name is resume.java and then i'll try to open that once again resume.java now i'm able to open that so did you get it the said readable permission was false because i cannot read that permission so that's why the eclipse was giving the error over here okay so i'll do one thing that uh, now let's see the permission so ch mode 777 means uh set all read write and write permission for that or execute permission for that now even the user owner user and groups all these guys are having the read write and executable permission okay now i'll do one thing that uh, i'll make it let me comment it out and uh, see writable permission is true i'll make writable permission also false it means i can read it but i cannot write anything here so let's see running it and uh, you just come over here and check the permission and see this this file is having read and x means executable permission but doesn't have any write permission so let's see am i able to write the code or not i'll do one thing i'll just close it and open it again and then see i'm trying to write anything i'm not able to write okay it's saying is only read only okay see i cannot write anything here but in home page see i can write the i can write something because home page permission is having the writable permission but in resume.java i cannot write anything it means because my site writable is false now I cannot edit this code. This is the read only file now. I cannot write anything. So what should I do in this case? Again, change the ch mode and then see I'm able to write it or not. See, I'll make it try to true now. See, I make it. Okay, I'm able to make it true means I'm able to write the permission, write the code and then it is writable now. So back to writable. So this is how you can set the permission guys. Exactly same thing the way you do it in, uh, in the Linux or Unix or the Windows command. Uh, windows machine same thing you have to do it over here as well in the form of this okay then there is one more method is available actually this math each and every method is overloaded i'll do one thing let's see this is my see i'll show you uh executable method it's saying boolean executable if you pass true by default it will be user permission not the owner permission see it's saying if true set the access permission to allow execute operation if false to disallow the execute operation okay and uh if you see this permission, the second one, it's saying two parameters you have to pass, boolean executable and boolean owner only. It means you want to set the permission only for owner or not. Okay, so it's saying owner only means if true, the executable permission applies to the owner's execute permission. That's it. Okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll select this and uh, I want to make it a true and only for owner of the file, not for other users. So if you make only true, uh, like this only if you remove this like this then it will be for all the users but i'm making it only for owner so let's see right now i can check that owner permission is uh, see this owner is having read write x permission executable permission and then i'm making executable false here and uh, let's see for owner it should uh, display dash only so here you can see for owner it's giving you dash only it means the executable permission is denied now it's gone okay so like this you can do such a certain experiments and then that's it so these three methods actually introduced uh, after jdk 1.6 just remember people might ask you at the time of interview or you can use in your uh, framework and in your code also you can use that like that okay thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation last please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues till then take care and god bless you all